Okay, here we go. This is component two task booklet. These are the questions on cell divisions. And we've got a lovely graph, a love a graph. Most cells go through a cyclic process of growth and division. This is the change in DNA content during one cell cycle in most animals and plants. So at the side we've got DNA content, two, one and two, and we've got time along the bottom. So let me just do some annotation before we start. So the one thing I do know is that if the DNA content is doubling, that's got to be replication. So that means that we're in interphase. Interphase, we've then got prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and then the cytoplasm is going to split. So we've got two cells. Okay. So, what do we need to do? Use the letters from the diagram. Better do that then. Indicate the periods when chromosomes are being duplicated. So that's where it's going up, that's just B. Cell division is taking place. Now I wonder what they mean by that. If they mean if they mean the phases of mitosis or meiosis, whichever it is, then it will be C and D. And if they just mean cell division, splitting the cytoplasm, they'll just mean D. I'm going to go for just meaning D, but I could potentially have put C in there. And interphase then, so we've got DNA replication for definite, and then of course the phase, the bit before that, is also going to be it. And I'm thinking there's quite a long gap there at the top, so it probably they don't mean C, they probably mean PMATs going on in there. So, that's really easy, so interphase. List. So I need to give any explanation. Three processes, one, two, three, which take place during interphase. So, things that happen in interphase. DNA replication. So my all-time top answer. And now I'm going to have to be a bit inventive. So, uh, ATP synthesis. Moving all those chromosomes around is certainly going to use a bit of ATP. And I'm going to also go for protein synthesis, which pretty much happens all the time. So, excellent. See, these are really easy. Explain the change in DNA content in D in the diagram. So why does the DNA content of each cell go down? The DNA has halved, so it's gone from two to one. Half the DNA is in each of the two cells. Okay, tip top. D. Can you tell whether the diagram shows meiosis 1 or mitosis? I don't know. Let me work it out. So, if it was meiosis 1, I'd be starting off with a pair of chromosomes. So, before that they would have been singles. If you get that DNA doubling, that means the graph goes up. Then, we go prophase, metaphase, anaphase, split them into each, telophase, cytokinesis, bring them back down again. So we've gone from two strands of DNA to four strands of DNA with the doubling and now we're back down to two. And if it was mitosis we'd start off with that. They wouldn't pair up. They 
go to. They go to that and then if it was mitosis it would go to one, two, one, two and that would be meiosis. So in terms of DNA content we've gone from four strands of DNA to two in each so uh, no then I can't tell the difference just from that graph um, in both so why have I chosen that meiosis one and mitosis the DNA is halved into two cells uh, at the end. Okay, give two ways, two ways in which, and we've got one and two here, the chromosomes at the end of meiosis one would differ from those at the end of mitosis. So here we go. So my, this is meiosis, remember, and that's mitosis. So we've taken uh, chromosomes as double structures, made them into single structures in mitosis. But they're still double structures, but we've just uh, shifted the, uh, we just split the homologs up. So um, at the end of mitosis for meiosis one. The chromosomes are double structures and at the end of meiotosis single. Um, and of course I could have said, I could have talked about the chromatids still being joined together by a centromere perhaps. You know, it still consists of two chromatids joined by a centromere. Instead of calling them double structures that would have been fine. So how else are they different? What else do I know about meiosis? Well of course in prophase one we've got crossing over and in metaphase uh, so that the, the chromosomes have got a muddling of uh, alleles and then we've also got that sort of random assortment of maternal and paternal chromosomes so uh, the chromosomes would be, I'm going to call it genetically different I think that's quite Precise. And if I'm talking about chromosomes being genetically different rather than the cells, I think I'm just going to talk about crossing over. Because of crossing over, I'm going to say when it happens. Just because I can't read the examiner's mind, I don't know what they want. Okie dokie.